I, uh, I came to Canada in 1989 uh, as a PhD student at University of Guelph. Uh, the first uh, surprise was the weather. Uh, it was it was very cold, and uh, but I got used to it very quickly. Um, uh, then the second observation that struck me and still stays in my mind is is that uh, is the lack of uh, bright colors uh, among uh, people's clothing. Uh, it was mostly blacks and uh, those kinds of colors. In India, people wear very bright colors most of the time. Um, culturally, uh, it took me some time to understand that uh, please and thank you are very commonly used words um, when you speak in English in, in Canada. Um, sometimes in uh, very informal cultures such as in India, you can uh, skip by these words many times. Well, for example, the, uh, how the ways we express our idea uh, because as a teachers or as a students, we usually encourage to be uh, more uh, being a listener in class rather than, uh, you know, um, to express or be more uh, express our idea aggressively uh, or uh, more assertively. Um, so. Uh, we was being a uh, listener instead of a presenter in that way. The most puzzling thing that we found when we moved to Saskatchewan was these plugs sticking out of cars. And uh, at first we thought that Saskatchewan was very far advanced in environmental ways and so we had uh, electrical cars. But uh, at that time we had a Volkswagen Beetle and within a month of first winter, we had installed three heaters in the car. So <laughs> anyway, so apart from that, the cultural differences were not great. Um, I was perfectly comfortable with the way things were at the University of Saskatchewan. Also, I compare and contrast uh, my cultures uh, with the uh, Canadian or Western or First Nation culture in uh, Saskatchewan. And I, I found that uh, uh, one of the biggest uh, differences I can observe is the word ethics. Um, so for in my cultures, uh, back in Taiwan, I could work 12, 16 hours a day, but no one was saying like you were too 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 much or you were too hard because that is the expectation uh, in general. Um, uh, but here is was uh, were, I figured out that actually uh, it's also have to find a balance between the work and your personal family time. Um, so there were cultural differences, of course you would expect those and otherwise why would you travel so far away from your homeland? Uh, but uh, the, there was nothing major, um, uh, there was no major accident, uh, cultural accident that happened to me. Luckily I must have either passed by those things or, uh, or had good uh, support system uh, at the university. Uh, using quite a lot of uh, gestures when we talk um, so that will um, that will make differences we, we communicate with uh, people with a diverse backgrounds. For example, uh, in Taiwan we use a different gestures uh, to indicate the numbers. Uh, so for example, uh, we do uh, use quite of uh, this kind of gestures and numbers to um, signal notes. Uh, and express our idea. And one of the example I can give you is um, the this is the three uh, in Canada, like everyone will understand. Um, but uh, in Taiwan, this is means eight.